Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Friday, May the 18th. It's the seventh week in Easter and week six in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 107, verse 1 to 22, and Jeremiah 31, verse 27 to 34. And now join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made them. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Most High, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Alleluia. Psalm 107. Please recite it with me. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Most High, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed proclaim that God delivered them from the hand of the enemy. God gathered them out of the lands from the east, the west, the north, and the south. They wandered in the wilderness, and they found no city in which to live. Hungry and thirsty, their souls fainted within them. And then they cried to the Most High in their trouble, and God delivered them from their distress. And God led them by the right way to a city where they could live. O people, give thanks to the Most High for God's goodness towards the children of the earth. God satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry with goodness. Some sat in darkness and the shadow of death, being afflicted with illness and bound in iron, because they rebelled against the words of God and had contempt for the counsel of the Most High. Therefore God humbled their hearts with hard labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. And then they cried to the Most High, and God saved them from their distress. God brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and broke their bands in pieces. O oh, people, give thanks to the Most High for God's goodness toward the children of the earth. For God has broken the gates of brass, and cut the bars of iron apart. Fools are afflicted because of their sins and iniquities. They abhor all manners of food, and draw near the gates of death. And then they cried to the Most High in their trouble, and God delivered them from their distress. God spoke and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. O oh, people, give thanks to the Most High, for God's goodness towards the children of the earth, and let them make sacrifices of thanksgiving, and declare God's works with rejoicing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Most High, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 31, beginning at verse 27. The days are coming surely, says Yahweh, when I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with seed of humans and the seed of animals. And just as I have watched over them to pluck up and break down, to overthrow, destroy, and bring evil, so I will watch over them to build and to plant, says the Most High. In those days they shall no longer say, The parents have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But all shall die for their sins. The teeth of everyone who eats sour grapes shall be set on edge. The days are surely coming, says Yahweh, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors, when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. 
a covenant that they broke, though I was their husband, says the Most High. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. I will put my law within them. I will write it on their hearts. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer shall they teach one another or say to each other, No Yahweh, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, says the Most High. For I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. Here ends the lesson. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, or give us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O beloved God, we thank you for your goodness to all creation. You redeem us from the hands of our enemies and deliver us from oppression and sorrow. May we ever seek you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.